household income and expenditure survey report has revealed that over 2 million young people in Ghana, age 15 to 35, are not in education, employment or training. The report, released by the Ghana Statistical Service, shows that females account for majority, with 1.2 million compared to over 700 males. Speaking at the graduation of fellows from the Ghana Employment Initiative cohort, the founder of Patriot Ghana NGO, Dr. Erika Jiman, emphasized the importance of introducing initiatives that provide employment opportunities for the youth. What really uh, prompted the GEI Fellowship? was uh, two major things, right? One is to be able to work to address the issues of unemployment, the youth unemployment in our country, which is quite concerning. And the second issue is to be able to support uh, or reduce the surge of young people that are leaving our shores with a lot of talents, okay? Um, that's kind of, that's the main reason why we started the initiative. But primarily, uh, throughout this fellowship, we've seen that uh, most of the fellows benefited a lot more from uh, being able to learn more about developing their business plans, having very clear vision and be able to develop this vision out. Uh, and also be able to, those who have like business ideas, how do they develop those business ideas into reality or profitable businesses. For the Director of Administration and Human Resources Management at AFTA, Ningom August, the graduates must focus on developing creative and innovative solutions to address everyday challenges. We should have the skills and to know that, yes, the market is open, but it's a very highly competitive. The market is, uh, let, let's give you an example, we are importing every year from outside of the continent, we are importing more than 20 billion dollars of good, food, only food. So Ghana can export, can take a share. Just imagine we take 5% of this amount, it will be a lot of income from Ghana. But Ghana is ready. We are impressed by the quality of product in Ghana. We are impressed by the diversity of products. We are able to manufacture the products. Now the, the only thing was missing is, uh, let's say, to go there. Go now start to export your products. And Ghana is ready. It's one of the countries in the continent, in Africa, who's ready to export and to export quality and good products. Some graduates share their impression of the fellowship. So I think moving forward is going to impact my business positively because now I've been able to know a lot of how to present my budget to investors, how to create certain things that I didn't know initially. I think it's, it's, it's going to increase one production. It will also increase the amount, amount of money or revenue that Skyway uh, Trading Enterprise will, would be generating. And so when I joined this fellowship, it was just an idea. I had had the idea for a very long time, but I didn't really know how to execute it. And a part of me felt like, okay, but if I execute it, do I have what it takes to actually keep it running? But when I came here, I realized that it just took a little bit of discipline to do everything. In the coming days, graduates will be provided with mentors to guide them in scaling up their businesses.